guys, this is Steph from the Raw Sisters and you're watching Step It Up with Steph. Today we're going to do a little video hair tutorial on how to get these big, soft, sexy curls and I will walk you through step by step. We're all about being natural and healthy and putting a searing hot curling iron onto your hair is not natural or healthy. So if you do do this, do it in moderation and know that it can be really damaging to your hair. This curling technique works on both short and long hair. You tuned into a Raw Sisters video, which means that we always keep it simple and stick to only a few ingredients. So the first ingredient you need is good music. I don't go anywhere without my music. Also, a water bottle. You've got to be hydrated to have gorgeous hair. Don't forget your most important ingredient, the curling iron. I love Hot Tools, that's my favorite brand, and this is a three quarter inch barrel. You can get it from Walmart for like 20 bucks, really easy. Also, a good blow dryer and a brush. Once you're all fresh and clean from that shower that I hope you took, blow dry your hair. It doesn't need to be perfect or anything, just get it nice and dry so it's ready to be curled. All right, now you're gonna part it down the middle or down the side, whatever you prefer, but give yourself a nice clean part. Okay, so this is the moment that we've been prepping you for. We're gonna get curling. Grab your brush, your curling iron, and let's get right down to business. Turn it up to high heat. And oh yeah, don't forget to turn that bad boy on. You know I'm always looking out for you. All right, game time. So take your first piece, a little section about this big, and wrap it around. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how this is done. I'm gonna speed it up and then slow it down in super slow-mo so I can show you the exact process of how I do this because that's the most important part in getting curls that look like this. Okay, so with a small section like this, you're gonna clip upside down. That's what makes this a little bit different. You're gonna wrap it around once, clip it, and then wrap it around a couple more times. But you don't have to fully have the end touch. You can kind of rest the end on your hand like I'm doing here. And every few seconds, you just wanna give it a little twist. You leave it there too long, it's gonna have a crimp in it, and you don't want that. But doing this process of really slowly releasing it is what will give you a beautiful, crimp-free curl. So as you can see, I just continually, and of course if you have short hair, this is a lot quicker, but with long hair, um, you kind of do this twirling motion, and it's obviously a lot faster in real life than I'm showing here, but I wanted to really show you guys like exactly how I move my hand and um, how I use the curling iron because that's a pretty essential part. And if you don't get it perfectly the first time, don't worry because it's a learning process and the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. Uh, I've been doing this since um, probably I was in high school, so I have a lot of experience. And then the end is the very most important part. You wanna make sure you get the end in there and um, otherwise it's gonna look all straggly and, junky so make sure you have a nice end so that's what it'll look like when it comes out really loose and bouncy and fun so I'm gonna take you through the rest of this really really fast super fast because I know you don't want to see the whole process if you want to go back and relook at how I curled that you can take that again as many times as you want go in slow motion here's another slowed down version of uh, one of the pieces in the back how I do that and how I wrap it around in that way and I do every piece the same you can also vary them to mix it up if you want like one curled under like I'm doing here and then one curled over um, over under over under halfway done the hair that's the perfect time to chug some water this right here is about 14 ounces now what you put into your body is what turns into your hair your skin and nails so if you want beautiful glowing shiny hair you've got to be hydrated Okay, so finish off that last side, and then if you have bangs like I do, you can curl them in the same way that you curl the other hair. Just go a little bit lower. I try and make it so that they sweep to where my eye or my cheekbone is. And the very last step, grab your brush or comb and just brush it all out. And this gives it that big, soft, fluffy look. So this is the part where we spray all those gross chemicals all over our hair just to make it stay. I don't personally use it on my hair, but if you need it for yours, remember just use it in moderation and then pull out the pieces and zhuzh it up. From here, it's also super easy to do a little half up, half down hairstyle. So grab a cute little clip like this, 
and just pull the pieces up, pin it in there, and you're good to go. You got two hairstyles in one. Hey, so what'd you think? Did you like this video? If you did, take a little break from your bathroom dance party and leave us some comments below about it. You can also share it with your friends. And if you want, you can subscribe here on YouTube and like us on Facebook. We'll be having more Do It With Diana and Step It Up With Steph coming soon.